Coming up on ABC Sports, it's the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. Undefeated Washington takes their shot at the national title as they take on fourth-ranked Michigan next. And this game will have some meaning before the voting is done. You can see how four major polls rank them. Washington on top in two, and Miami on top in the other two. The game we've been waiting for. Let's play it. Michigan will kick off. Washington will receive. Huskies in white. The visiting team. Napoleon Kaufman and Jay Barry are deep. As J.D. Carlson kicks it off to the 12. It is Kaufman. It is Kaufman. Within a step of going all the way. So the Huskies open with a big return of 38 yards and good field position. Well, this is what the University of Washington brings into this ball game, and that is speed. You see it from the first play of the ball game. A huge gap up the middle. The kickoff coverage for the Wolverines not there, and Coughlin gives them outstanding field position for their first drive. Billy Joe Hobart on the season had 22 touchdowns, 2,200 plus yards. That's a bunch, but he was picked off 10 times, meaning he's a big, strong guy who will sometimes force it. Mario Bailey had an All-American season for the Washington Huskies at wide out, and the big guys up front, the line is anchored by two 300-pounders. Elvis Gerbach. Look at the last two numbers there. 24 touchdowns and only five interceptions. That'll warm the cockles of any coach's heart. Desmond Howard, of course, was the Heisman Trophy winner, the Maxwell winner. He set all kinds of records. And Ricky Powers is the man you'll see carrying that ball probably a lot today. But let's see what happens for Michigan on their first offensive play of the ball game. Van Dyne goes in motion. Gerbach gives the ball to Powers, and he rips his way out to the 27-yard line, running over the left side. That's where big Greg Strepanak works. The offensive front for Michigan is led by Strepanak, but a key man here, Bob Greasy, is Matt Elliott. He has to move over to the center position because Steve Everett has hurt a leg. Second down and three. The Wolverines get the first down at the 31-yard line with Ricky Powers, the 205-pound sophomore from Akron, Ohio, carrying the ball. For Washington, that tackle was made by Jaime Fields. He's one of a core of linebackers that can really run. The big wrecker inside is Steve Empman, number 90. He spent um, uh, about eight hours in a hospital the past week trying to get rid of a virus. Gerbach is sacked back inside the 25. He fumbled the football, and... Michigan apparently keeps it. One of the key matchups all day will be Steve Entman, number 90 in the white jersey, whomever is blocking him to try and keep him out of there. He is the Outland Award winner, the Lombardi Award winner, causes the fumble. I don't know if Gerbach got it back or one of those big offensive line that maybe Skeen or Elliott or Kokozo. You've just seen why Steve Impman is considered the premier defensive football player out of the trenches this season. Gerbach gives to Powers. Into the stack he goes. Nothing doing. 57, Tyrone Rogers right there. Donald Jones, 48. I mean, they have got some assassins up on that defensive front for this Washington defensive unit defensive unit really attacks Keith it's like an injured face they're up on the they're up in the uh, face of the defense of the offensive line they're coming across take a look at the defensive guys the two corners will be assigned to stop in Desmond Howard here this afternoon Howard is yet to be involved except for the kick return it is third down and 17 and Gerbach is sacked for the second time number 48 Donald Jones came whistling in from the outside position and took him down and so the Washington defense will leave the field all jacked up. And let's turn for a moment to Bo Schimbeckler, who is here for this Rose Bowl game as a member of our team. Coach, you've seen both sides play some pretty good defense. Well, Michigan dodged the bullet on that uh, great kickoff return by Washington, but they've got to protect the passer. If they can't protect the passer, uh, it's going to be a long afternoon. 
This will give Washington good field position again as Bryant feels the punt, brings it back to the Michigan side of the field. Strengths of these teams, Washington offensively, they uh, second in the nation in scoring, averaging 42 points a game. Michigan number one in the Big Ten against the run. They've not allowed a rushing touchdown in the last 22 quarters. Take a look at the offensive line surge. And two backs, so number right there, going to blow the linebacker back on his back. That's 31 number, uh, that's Turner and Matt uh, Jones, number 22, just run right over the linebacker. Great blocking by the two backs. And with the Wolverines in possession, their team strikes. Well, they're fourth in the nation in scoring, and Washington, they are the best defense overall in the country. They'll come after you. Ball is given to Ricky Power, running to the left side, and he gets a greeting from number 54, David Hoffman. And I'll tell you, folks, that is a how do you do when Mr. Hoffman leans on you. After that turnover by Michigan, take a look at how the Washington defense has reacted. Only given up 10 points after 20 turnovers by the Washington offense. That is outstanding. We'll show you the flip side of that a little later. Second down and eight. Matt Elliott during the snapping. They go to the shotgun. Good snap, little delay, handoff to Powers, and Powers is hit by Hoffman. Knocks him off his track, and then he is taken down. <laughs> Hoffman, you know, we talk about Eric Anderson for Michigan winning the Butkus. This man right here is an outstanding linebacker. All-American, uh, first-team uh, linebacker. He's led this team in tackles the last two years. This is, if you're looking for linebackers, this these two teams have them. You put Anderson and Hoffman inside together, and nobody <laughs> would dare send uh, back in there. He'd never come out. <laughs> Third down, seven. Pressure coming. Mason right there. Passes away. Incomplete. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Desmond Howard was under the ball in the neighborhood, but Andy Mason was right in Gerbach's face. Tyrone Wheatley is in the backfield now for the Michigan Wolverines. Maybe the fastest of the Swift. And here's Gerbach. Let me go for Desmond Howard. It is intercepted on the ricochet by Walter Michigan offense in the Big Ten. They also are the fewest sack team in the, uh, in the Big Ten. The quarterback has been sacked only six times. And it's the third tackle in the ball game for a loss by the Huskies. Well, you wonder about the Husky defense. Take a look at this. We could have put more ones up there if we wanted. They lead the Pac-10 in every defensive category. That is Chris Hutchinson, the junior out of Houston, Texas, who's had a number of injuries, and it slowed him down, but at least he's getting to play in this Rose Bowl game. Huskies in the back 10. Michigan has two tight ends out here, and one's a fullback. They both blocked down. Powers, that's another tackle for a loss. Mark Brunel is in that quarterback for the Washington Huskies. He's the man who led him to a win here a year ago against the Iowa Hawkeyes. So the left-hander, who suffered a brutal knee injury last spring, fights his way back, and he's in the lineup right now. And he turns and hands, and it's carried by Barry from the 30, call it the 33, out to about the 36 or 7. And this is this was planned with Brunel coming in in the second quarter. Don James told me a couple days ago, we'll go with Brunel, give him a series in the second quarter, just like we did Holbert last year when Brunel was playing. In fact, Brunel was the Rose Bowl MVP uh, of the game last year. Just to stay up with Washington. Bo said a little while ago that uh, that uh, he liked Washington. He thought we were looking at the number one team. Are you going to step up and say that? Is that your feeling? That's my feeling after um, after I see them today, particularly that suffocating defense, Keith. I have never seen a defense quite that good, uh, particularly out here in the Rose Bowl. I don't think we've ever played against one that's been quite that good.